What's up guys? In this tutorial, I will show you how to add audio responsive effects in Wallpaper Engine to create interactive wallpapers that react to music and sound. When you launch Wallpaper Engine, click on the Wallpaper Editor at the bottom left corner. This will open the editor and prompt you to select a wallpaper. After selecting your wallpaper, you can resize it to fit different resolutions if necessary. You also have the option to change the project name as well as customize the scheme color. Once done with the basics, the wallpaper will take a second to load everything up, and you should be ready to start editing. Now that the wallpaper is loaded, you will see multiple options on the screen. The first step is to decide which part of the wallpaper you want to make audio responsive. To do this, click on the Add button under Effects. This opens a selection menu with different effects. Scroll through and select Pulse, which will show a quick demo of what it does. Once you see how it works, click OK to apply the effect. If you want to explore additional effects, layers or presets, you can also browse the workshop to find more customization options. For now, click OK again and you will see the effect applied to your wallpaper. At this point, you will notice that the entire image is pulsating, which is not what we want. We only want a specific part of the wallpaper to be affected by the audio. To fix this, go to the Audio Response section and set the center channel as the audio source. This makes the effect respond directly to sounds playing on your PC. Next, under Opacity Mask, click on the Paint button. This opens multiple options on the left side, including brush size, opacity and hardness. Make changes as necessary and carefully paint the effect onto a designated section where you want the audio responsive effect to be using the brush tool. To make things easier, Enable the Show Mask option to visualize where you're painting. If you accidentally apply the effect outside of the required area, you can erase it or reset it. Carefully paint around to ensure a smooth and even effect. Once you're satisfied with the masking, click OK to confirm the changes. Now, you can fine-tune additional settings in the shader section. When you play any audio on your system, the wallpaper will react to the sound. You can take things further by experimenting with blend modes changing the tint highs and lows, adjusting the frequency response, or tweaking the audio exponent settings. Play around with these settings to create the perfect dynamic effect for your wallpaper. Once you're happy with the final result, go back to your wallpaper and decide whether to add more effects or export it as a wallpaper engine file. To apply it immediately, click on File and then select Apply Wallpaper. If you want to save the project for future edits, you can choose to export it instead. For a curated collection of high-quality wallpapers, visit wallpaperengine.space. A link will be in the description below. This website features an extensive array of animated wallpapers across various categories, including 4K resolution, anime, mobile and the most popular animated wallpapers by rating on Wallpaper Engine. To use a wallpaper from this site, simply click on the one you're interested in and then click on a Steam Workshop link provided on each page. From there, you can subscribe to it for free and it will be accessible through your Wallpaper Engine application. I hope this helped you out. Leave a comment if you have any questions and see you in the next one.